right, Sheiky Sheik. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Listen, good money community. We all know that everybody wants to build that muscle and cut that belly fat. Come on, we know we want to look good, we want to feel good. <clears throat> and I'm about to teach y'all the bulletproof method to gaining muscle and losing fat. Now, you could go through all of the different exercises in the world. There's no specific fat burning exercise besides, I say doing burpees. But if you do burpees and you eat like trash, you're gonna look like trash. So, I wanna teach y'all the fundamentals of how muscle is even built before we even talk about how fat is cut. So muscle <clears throat> comes strictly through protein. All muscle matter is made out of protein molecules. Now, before we go further, we have to understand <clears throat> that body weight is one thing. Body composition is one thing. Muscle and fat both have weight. So we need to be specific in how we want our body composition to actually manifest. We want the most muscle and the least amount of body fat. A lot of you men these days, a lot of you humans these days are out there with a considerable amount of body fat and a low degree of muscle mass. I'll teach you something. Muscle, I could flex it. I could use my mind to connect to it. Fat, it just jiggles and you're just walking around with it. So for all you fat people out there, know that <clears throat> every time you do a push-up, you got a 40 pound weight vest on your body. Every time you do a burpee, you got 40, 50, 30, 20 pounds extra on your body that you can't use, but you're training with anyway. So. To all the fat people out there, I ain't saying stay fat. I'm just letting you know that you might be stronger once you lose all of that fat and run around earth and realize you lighter than you thought. Now back to muscle. Muscle is only made from protein. They say abs are made in the kitchen. We have various exercises for abs. We got leg raises. We got knee tucks. We got oblique crunches. We got bicycles. These are gonna contract the abdominal muscles, make them strong, make them pop out. But if you eat like Dookie, you're gonna have this whole layer of yellow gush, and we can't even see your abs. None of this. None of that is gonna do enough to keep the fat off of you if you keep putting the fat in your body. So, you wanna get the muscle, lose the fat. How do you do that? We're at the money point. You need to have the right amount of protein, the right amount of carbs, <clears throat> and the right amount of fats. These are called macronutrients. I know plenty of you I've already heard about macros, but I'm here to give y'all the most scientific overview of how you could approach the situation. Now, a lot of y'all might be enlightened. Y'all know that <clears throat> everything is energy. So we're made out of molecules. Your body is made out of molecules. When you eat, your body turns those molecules you eat into the molecules of your body. You need to have a specific amount of protein molecules going into your body to have the right amount of muscle. If you eat too much carbs, if you eat too much fat, these fat molecules get stored on your body. You need to go into what they call a caloric deficit. I say, listen, you wanna be 160 pounds of lean muscle, eat 160 grams of protein. The fat and the carbs, hit me up and we'll figure that out. But I'll tell you, if you do not track your macros, trust me, it don't matter what you do in this world. You could go in the gym, stair master 3,000 steps, 30,000 steps, cardio with the sweatsuit, burpees all day. When you see an individual with a physique 
that obviously communicates discipline is because they have the right intake. You can't out-cheat nature. You can't out-cheat the right diet. So, when it comes to muscle building, you need to train. <clears throat> That's more on the outside, come through. So we wanna see that we're working on this bicep. I'm stretching it and I'm pumping it. That flexion is pumping blood. When you eat, the food gets broken down and sent into your blood. And when you work out, the molecules get sent to your muscles. So you want the bulletproof way to guarantee that you get a six pack and build the best muscle possible. You have to have no way around it. Ain't no, CMOS is great for you as a man. Ain't no nothing in this world gonna get you to drop that fat unless you have the right macros. You gotta go to the right person and get the right profile. We in the calisthenics community. So, no matter what you do, this is all stimulus. When you do a rep, you tell your body, grow, grow. 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 After all of that instruction to grow, it needs the right materials. So if you don't got the right protein, you don't got nothing to build, you don't got nothing to grow. Necessary for the muscle. The fat, the less you put in, and the more you work, the more it disappears. So do away with, and oh, fruits. I'll give y'all a very special secret about fruits. Carbohydrates get broken down into sugars. Glucose and fructose, particularly. Glucose will come from rice, pasta, your familiar grains, oats, granola. But when you eat a fruit, it is carbs, but this is the secret. This is the secret. When you have carbs from fruit, it gets broken down into fructose. All carbs get broken down into glycogen. Glucose, fructose, glycogen. Glycogen gets stored in the muscles and in the liver. Glucose goes to the muscles and the liver. Fructose only gets stored as liver glycogen. So, if you have more than 60 grams of carbs that are sourced from fruits, y'all can Google this. Google this. 60 grams of carbs that are sourced from fruits, it's gonna fill up your liver glycogen and all that extra fructose gets converted into fat on the body. This is why many people who have, who don't train ridiculously hard 24 seven, talking about the common civilian who loves to eat fruits, yeah, you're getting carbs, but after 60 grams, your liver gets full of glycogen and your body disposes of the fructose as body fat. If you stick to the granola, you stick to the grains, you stick to the pasta, you stick to certain vegetables, they get broken down as glucose, insulin takes that out the bloodstream, puts it in the muscles, gets you that muscle pump, gets you that full muscle, and glycogen is what's responsible for your ability to do reps. So carbs are necessary. Don't cut carbs out of the game. You have to have a certain amount. Hit me up if you want the numbers. Same thing with the protein. You have to have a certain amount. Hit me up for the numbers. And the fat, my God. Car carbs, carbs are four calories per gram. Protein, four calories per gram. Fat, 
nine calories per gram. So 40 grams of fat, nine times four, 18 times two, 36, that's 360. 40 grams of fat. 40 grams of carbs, 160. So now we're not just counting calories, we're understanding what's underneath the hood. Calories are the big bracket. I got a course ready for y'all as well if y'all need the full breakdown without me rambling about this stuff. The baseline is this, calories, one thing. Proteins, carbs, and fats are what give us calories. So you can't just have a 2,000 calorie diet but have 2,000 just from carbs or, two th or 1,000 from carbs, 1,000 from fat, zero from protein. Hit me up, I'm gonna give you the perfect profile. You get the profile, you get the class, you study the class, I'll teach you how to eat your favorite things and have the best body you've ever seen in your life. And that's because we got the 100% bulletproof recipe. Sea moss, great, it's a micronutrient. It has 92 minerals and vitamins that are found in the human body across the earth. It's a great thing. But vitamin A, C, D, E, iron, zinc, these things are micronutrients. So we're dealing with macro, is gonna help you get that muscle burn to fat. Micro is gonna help you with your energy levels. So don't just avoid the micronutrients. Nah, throw the sea moss in there. Throw the oranges, throw, throw everything that's conceivably healthy. But understand that if you really wanna lose fat and build muscle, you're gonna have to instruct your muscles to grow. And then feed your muscle the necessary materials so that they can actually develop and build and become the muscle that you want. Hit us up for all the details. We could break it down in way more ways than what we just did. But understand, you want that bulletproof recipe? You can't escape tracking your macros. If you follow what I give you to a T, in 90 days, you look in the mirror and be mad that you never knew this. I'm telling you, whatever you are, your world is yours. I went from 156 pounds, 6'6", six, six, to 190 pounds, lean. Look at this guy. See that guy? He ain't got no muscle. You're just some weird looking guy with, you know, a little skinny or whatever. But that's not healthy. That muscle is healthy. Muscle is also an endocrine organ, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. We're gonna save that for the future. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Listen, get yourself aligned and you're gonna win. Hit us up, we'll break it down. And like I said, comprehend these things and you can't lose. 100% bulletproof, you get me? Any questions for us, Mr. Good Money? Yeah, that was you all. All right, y'all, so listen, it's all mindset, y'all. You really look how you think. So if you're really serious and you swear you disciplined and you swear you got work ethic, yeah, you're going to see it. Tap in for the recipe. We got the keys. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, good looking yeah. out, Sheiky yeah. Sheik. That reach to Sheiky's YouTube page and Instagram will be in the description box. Make sure y'all subscribe to him and follow him. More to come from my man, Sheiky Sheik. Last thing I want to say to y'all, I've been in my bulk phase. Watch me, watch me now from this video. Get even more veiny, more shredded, and maintain that muscle mass. I'm gonna prove it to y'all starting today. So mark the date and check back in in a season. I'll see y'all there. All right, we're looking out. Yup.